साथ शेयर करते हैं योर एजुकेशन एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर हेयर एज आर गेस्ट वी विल कंटिन्यू टू एक्सटेंड दिस वॉम एंड आर हॉस्पिटैलिटी वी वॉफर्ड सिक्स थाउजेंड स्कॉलरशिप्स फॉर अफगान स्टूडेंट्स टू study in pakistani universities uh and uh reach heights be prepared to serve their country and i'm told close to 50000 afghans who went to the different schools and colleges universities in pakistan are today back in afghanistan and are serving their nation so pakistan in its humble way has contributed in capacity building and has contributed towards governance in uh, afghanistan today let me thank you excellency for uh, your support and uh, this gift uh, that you have uh, that you will be distributing uh, to these children uh coming from our friends uh our chinese friends is is a, is a very welcome gesture ties between afghanistan and pakistan children are very historic we have cultural ties we have religious ties and we have a joint future i keep meeting your leadership i met president ashraf khani i met your foreign minister mr salahuddin labani and i met your chief executive mr abdullah abdullah but i'm delighted to meet you i'm delighted to meet you because you are the future of afghanistan and we want to contribute to a friendly future our future is joint we cannot live in peace if you are not at peace with the pakistan yesterday i was talking to the uh, american um, ambassador who has been designated as the focal person to push forward the peace and reconciliation process and we had a good exchange and through this ceremony i want to send a very clear message to the people of afghanistan and the leadership of afghanistan that we are supportive of this initiative and we will do whatever we can to achieve reconciliation and peace we want to contribute we have suffered together let's not forget when you were under soviet occupation how people of pakistan opened their arms and their homes for you even today decades have gone past you're welcome in pakistan not one pakistani family has objected to your presence in pakistan you've seen how refugees and immigration has become a challenge in europe how countries are redrafting their laws how they are creating new barriers we have no barriers for you we only have friendship and love because we feel that our interests are joint and we have to work together my first visit was to kabul why kabul because the pakistan is important to pakistan peace in afghanistan is important for pakistan's future and we want to contribute we want to contribute towards your reconstruction we want to contribute towards your development and we 
feel that there's a huge potential of bilateral trade. It went up, it came down, it's creeping up again. So we are keen to further promote bilateral trade between these uh, uh, countries. I also understand, and I am talking to you uh, children, being brought up in refugee camps is never easy. Being displaced is never easy. Being away from home is never easy. We want to do, we want to create an enabling environment so that you can return back to your homes with honor and dignity and Pakistan will do whatever we can uh, to facilitate that. Whenever there's an incidence of terrorism, Excellency, it affects me. It affects Pakistan. We're concerned about violence in Afghanistan. We've suffered on account of terrorism. We've been victims of terrorism. So we know when families, when youngsters, when your policemen, when your uh, soldiers of the Afghan National Army, when they get affected, we share your pain. And we want to uh, help you overcome this challenge. Things were equally challenging on our side of the border. The nation resolved to take them on. And we have cleansed uh, our uh, side of the border, our side of the tribal belt, through uh, successful operations. And today, those areas where there was no writ have been merged and in the process of being merged into Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The writ of Supreme Court has been extended to uh, the entire belt. Very soon we are planning uh, local government elections over there. We are creating new uh, civil infrastructures to bring our friends and brothers living in the tribal belt into the mainstream. We are trying to undertake measures for better border management. And you're aware of our efforts. Again, uh, we are trying to facilitate. We would expect cooperation and understanding from your side. This ceremony is a gesture. It's a gesture which, reply, which, which reflects the mindset. And I'm so happy to see uh, China's contribution. Pakistan was always keen to have China part of this effort. I'm glad that the Chinese, after due diligence and consideration, have decided to play a more active role for Afghan development and reconstruction. I'm looking forward to my visit to Kabul. I'm looking forward to my meeting uh, the Chinese and the Afghan foreign minister there, and hopefully. Uh, this trilateral that we will have in Kabul uh, very soon uh, would be uh, moving in the direction that uh, we uh, envisage. So thank you for being here. And you and and you you children are as important to us as Pakistani children. We want you to go back to Afghanistan as friends of Pakistan. You should be our ambassadors over there. That's the kind of relationship we want. And that's the kind of future we want. Thank you.